Hi guys, it's me, I, Tara, <laughs> um, forever introducing myself for no reason. Um, so, today is going to be a really quick uh, first impression slash review on some of the new Naked products from Urban Decay. Actually, just two of the new Naked products from Urban Decay um, because I just wasn't interested in um, the other item which is nail polish in the Naked line. I just wasn't interested. I feel like my bun's being cut off so I apologize if I look bald. <laughs> okay, so the two items that I got, I, they actually came in today and I actually am using both of them on my face at this moment. And the first one is the ever so infamous Naked Basics palette. Uh, which is their new just it's their new matte palette their first ever all matte palette and it has six shades in there um, it's not completely matte five of the shades are matte and the, there's a highlight color which is supposed to be a demi matte but it has a lot it has shimmer in it so I don't consider it to be matte at all and then the shade names are Venus Foxy Walk of Shame, which says W-O-S, Naked 2, uh, Faint, and Crave. And those are all six of the shadows. I'm sorry if my mirror is blinding anyone. And I am wearing all six shades on my eyes right now. Um, I'm not sure. I know it's out of focus right now because I'm going to get closer. Um, I'm not sure if you can really tell so much. But, I'm hoping you can get a good idea. I have Venus under my eyebrow as a brow bone highlight. I have Foxy on my inner, my inner eyelid. I have Walk of Shame on my entire eyelid. I have Naked 2 in the crease, Faint on top of that in the crease, and a little bit of Crave, which is the dark, is the... I'd say it's like a grade black. I have that also a little bit in the crease just to add a little depth, but I didn't go too dark with it because I didn't want to be completely smoky. I wanted it to still be fairly natural. So yeah, I have all five shadows. Oh, what was that face? Oh. Um, I have all five shadows on my eyes. Um, I just think this palette is really cute, it's really nice. I actually debated back and forth as to Oops. whether or not I should get this um, simply because sorry I'm still trying to show them simply because I do own both naked palettes the first one and the second and the first one I love 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 because it's a little warmer and then the second one you know has the cooler colors in it as opposed to the warm colors in this one I don't use naked 2 as much and I figured it would be just as similar to naked 2 but the the makeup junkie in me felt like I needed to own this um, but the very first time I saw it I was in Sephora when I was doing Christmas shopping and I didn't like it because I swatched them on my hand and they were very chalky and I was just like I do not like this and then about recently I went back to Sephora and I swatched it again and it wasn't chalky so I'm guessing some of these palettes are a little hit and miss some are chalkier than others and maybe they reformulated it with a second batch I have no idea but I was fortunate enough to get one that wasn't a chalky mess and it which you know when you have darker skin you want to stay away from the chalky eyeshadows just it's just not a good look um but I was fortunate enough not to get a chalky one as you can see because I am wearing it today and I am enjoying it. So I think this is a really cool palette. I love that it's so small because it's just a little, it's like the little palette that you can just throw in your purse. Um, maybe when you're running late or you're gonna have a weekend trip, you can take this everywhere for touch-ups, etc. So I think this palette is not, it's not necessarily a must-have if you have the other um, two naked palettes or even one of the other naked palettes or even just a neutral palette um, in general but I think it's cute <laughs> and I like it a lot and I just love that it's so tiny and I also love that it's matte um, but yeah 
I love that. And the second item I purchased is their newest, newest naked product, which is the Naked Flushed Palette, which looks like this. I think it's really pretty. They're both plastic, um, as opposed to that velvet finish of the first Naked Palette and the metal tin in the Naked 2. These two palettes are plastic and they are much smaller. And the Naked Flush, which also sets it apart from the other three palettes, is it is not an eyeshadow palette. It is actually a cheek palette. So here, it's supposed to be universal for all skin tones. Um, that's a little debatable, but I'll get into that after this. Um, it comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And I was really, I thought this was like a really great idea. I liked the way it looked. Um, I really wanted to try it out, but I wasn't sure if the bronzer would be dark enough for me or for my skin tone. Um, but I decided I'd be a guinea pig and I'd try it out and I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, but I think it's a really cool idea. I like that the bronzer is really big because I think that would be what you would use the most, especially in my case, which I will get into. Um, and the highlights are really cool. I think that's universal as well as the blush because they are very, very pigmented. And like I said, I am wearing everything on my face right now okay and like I was saying um, the bronzer is not very very dark I guess in order for it to be completely universal they also have to think about people that are very pale um, so they don't want it to be too dark because it'll be too overwhelming on their skin tone but for us darker women or men if you want a little bronzer this is not very dark um, see if I can get a swatch to show up probably not um I am using it and I did that's it there let's see that's it right here you can barely see it especially with the lighting but it's right here I didn't want to give you the finger um it's a good bronzer I did use it to contour um, I contoured in the hollows of my cheekbones. I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, and I also contoured my nose with it. Um, and it works. It's just very light. It's not as dark as my Bobbi Brown bronzer. Can you see the difference? Probably not. But my Bobbi Brown bronzer is a lot darker and a lot richer. Um, I guess I'll swatch it in comparison. Uh, yeah. And that's the Bobbi Brown bronzer. This looks like dirt on my hand right now. <laughs> but that's it here. This is so awkward. That is so awkward. <laughs> so yeah, it's not as dark as that bronzer or even Max uh, Blunt Blush, which I also use to contour on occasion. Um, something in my eye. But it does work out. Um, I did contour with it, like I said, and I it, it does show up to a certain extent. It's very natural, um, so it does give it does bring dimension back to your face after your foundation. It's just very subtle. Um, if you are any darker than I am, though, which is NC45 in Mac terms, or um, I'm right now I'm wearing Nars found, uh, Sheer Glow Foundation in Tahoe, um, which is one of my favorites. Uh, if you're any darker than I am, say like NC50 or NW45, it's probably not dark enough. Um, it may be, I'm not completely sure, but I really had to like pack on the bronzer in order for it to show up a little bit on my skin. But I do like that it's very natural, but any darker than me, it's probably not a, a go. I still would recommend this palette um, for the cheek color and the highlight color because they are very very pigmented um, so if you are a darker skin tone you could just use is the bronzer itself as a blush or mix all the colors together if you want um, I just wouldn't contour with it if you were any darker than me but it would be nice on the cheeks still because it is still a nice um, rich brown warm brown and the highlight and the blush are very pigmented so those should show up on all skin tones. I will post swatches and pictures of everything on my blog as usual 
which is stupidbeauty.com. There'll be a link at the end. There's also a link below, and it's also written down here somewhere. So you can find your way there and see swatches and etc. Um, if you like. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I like these two products. I love them. If you want to see tutorials on either one of these or with both of them, I would be glad to do so. Just let me know below. And I am going to go walk my dog and take a few pictures for you guys. Um, as always, check out my blog for pictures. You can follow me on Instagram. It's tarpig. It's listed below. Um, you can follow me on Tumblr, etc. It's all down below. It's tarpig, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram and my website stupidbeauty.com where I always post pictures. Um, sometimes I update on my personal life there. Um, I recently did a couple days ago and I do want to say a few words about that but I won't get into it right now. Um, probably I'll probably do a vlog where I talk about um, that post and what happened in result of that post. I am very disappointed in some of you <laughs> but um, yeah uh, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Bye.